Atlantic Ultraviolet Corporation. The Standard of Excellence in Ultraviolet. Germicidal Ultraviolet for Failed Water Tests. What is a failed water test? A water test analyzes contaminants and water quality indicators found in the water supply. A failed water test may indicate that there is too much of a particular microorganism that could be harmful in the water and that renders it unsafe to drink or use. Whether your water comes from a private well or a public source, having your water tested is the first step in protecting yourself and your loved ones from ill effects caused by potentially bad water. Why do I need to take a water test? Testing your water is the first step in protecting your health. If you receive your water from a well, it is an essential part of maintaining a safe water source. According to the EPA's drinking water from household wells, potentially severe contaminations from bacteria, heavy metals, nitrates, radon, and other chemicals can only be determined through testing. Other potential sources come from past or present human activity, things that we do, make, and use such as mining, farming, and using chemicals, some of these activities may result in the pollution of the water we drink. Your water test should include analysis for total coliform bacteria, nitrates, total dissolved solids, and pH levels. Experts recommend you also speak with your county health department for additional substances you should screen for based on your well's geography and surrounding agriculture or industry. How do I know when to take a water test? More than 15 million U.S. households use private water wells and the well's owner is responsible for overseeing the safety and quality of the water. Experts recommend testing the well's water annually by a certified laboratory. More frequent testing may be necessary if there is cause for concern. If your well is shallow, aging, located near livestock, septic systems, landfills, or manufacturing plants, there is more opportunity for contamination. Pregnant women, babies, infants, Elderly or immune-compromised people are more susceptible to the ill effects of contaminated water. Even if your water comes from a municipal water supply, there are still plenty of reasons to have your water tested. Most of the country's pipes and water systems were designed and installed over 100 years ago. Large municipalities and cities nationwide have staff that monitors water quality around the clock. Many smaller communities aren't able to keep up with monitoring their water quality and maintaining their aging infrastructure as required by the Safe Drinking Water Act. Our research shows that in 2015 alone, nearly 77 million people were served by more than 18,000 community water systems that violated at least one SDWA rule, and there were more than 80,000 violations of SDWA rules that year. General changes indicate it's time for a new water test. Symptoms such as nausea, diarrhea, cramping, vomiting, or headaches. The water is off color, cloudy, or has an odor. And finally, reduction in water pressure.
If the following factors are present, you should get your water tested. Flooding, storm surge, or tornado activity. Increase in construction or agricultural activity. Increase in mining activity or a recommission of an old mine. Known issues with neighboring septic systems or cesspools. Repair to pipes, pumps, and or the well casing. Recently decommissioned well in your area. If your well is newly drilled or bored larger, get your water tested regularly if your municipality frequently issues boil water alerts and is often plagued by water main breaks and other infrastructure failures. Failed water test concerns. You are responsible for ensuring that your private well water is safe for consumption and that no coliform bacteria is present. Total coliform is a class of diverse bacteria commonly found in the environment, on plants, in the soil, and in the stomachs of warm-blooded animals. Coliform is easy to detect in water and should not appear in treated water sources. E. coli is a fecal bacteria that is a part of the total coliform class. It can cause illness and disease. Results exhibiting coliform bacteria indicate a possibility of fecal contamination in the water and should not be ignored. If your water test exhibits total coliform present, your water is not suitable for consumption and must be treated. The CDC lists the following contaminants as a concern in private wells. Bacteria, Campylobacter, E. coli, Salmonella, and Shigella. Chemical and metal, Arsenic, Copper, lead, nitrate, and radon. Protozoa, Cryptosporidium, and Giardia. Virus, Enterovirus, Hepatitis A, Norovirus, and Rotavirus. How can a failed water test affect my health? The contaminants listed in the previous slides can cause a range of health concerns including recurring gastrointestinal illness, headaches, fatigue and weakness, irritability, respiratory distress, coughing and wheezing, reproductive problems, and neurological disorders or developmental delay. Who is most susceptible to contaminated water? Babies, infants, and young children, pregnant women, elderly people, immune system compromised individuals such as those with AIDS, undergoing chemotherapy, or on organ transplant medications. What to do when my water test fails and comes back positive for bacteria? Installing an appropriately sized Atlantic Ultraviolet water disinfection system will assist in getting your water back to a zero total coliform count with little maintenance. 
Atlantic Ultraviolet's UVC water purification and disinfection systems use sterile ray lamps. These short-wave, low-pressure tubes produce ultraviolet energy at 254 nanometers, the region of germicidal effectiveness most destructive to virtually all bacteria, protozoa, virus, and fungi. The CDC lists germicidal UVC as highly effective in eliminating bacteria, protozoa, and virus. Selecting a water disinfection system by Atlantic Ultraviolet Corporation. One, find your flow rate. The first step in selecting the appropriate Atlantic Ultraviolet water disinfection system is to find your flow rate in gallons per minute. Our water purifiers are made or assembled in the USA with peak flow in mind. We typically recommend as follows. One bathroom, six gallons per minute. Two to four bathrooms, 12 gallons per minute. Five bathrooms, 20 gallons per minute. Selecting the purifier that fits your GPM. Our biologic ultraviolet water purifiers are designed for point of use installation and come in either 1.5 or 3 gallons per minute. The biologic pure water pack includes a biologic 1.5 gallons per minute UV water purifier, a sediment and carbon filter, as well as an installation kit that includes tubing, a saddle valve, and long reach faucet. Our Mini Pure UV purifiers are designed for residential applications within the 1 to 9 gallons per minute range. They come standard with lamp indicator lights that show lamp operation as well as an audio alarm that alerts the user of system mount functions. Our Mighty Pure line is designed for residential or commercial use and ranges from 3 to 20 gallons per minute. These units come standard with a sight port plug that safely shows UV lamp glow as well as an integrated drain fitting that allows chamber draining without moving the unit. Our Sanitron ultraviolet water purifiers can be used in residential, commercial, or industrial applications within the 3 to 416 gallons per minute range. Modular units can be added or removed to change gallons per minute as needs change over time. In addition to a site port and drain fitting, the Sanitron features a patented dual action manual wiper mechanism that cleans its quartz sleeves. NSF certified water systems. Sanitron models S37C, S50C, and S2400C comply with NSF, ANSI 61 and 372, drinking water system component, health effects, and lead content. Mighty Pure models MP36C and MP49C are available with certification for NSF ANSI Standard 55 Ultraviolet Microbiological Water Treatment Systems. When selecting a UV purifier, the third thing you'll want to consider is the difference between point of entry versus point of use. Point of entry will install before or at the water source's entry to your home. It will provide continuous disinfection to all water plumbed downstream of the unit through your house. Point of use installs directly at the site of use, for example, under a kitchen sink or bathroom sink, and provides treatment only to the water coming from that treated location. 4. Disinfect the downstream plumbing. Once your UV disinfection system has been properly installed, 
Disinfect the downstream plumbing between the purifier and point of use by introducing 100 ppm chlorine or another disinfectant solution directly into the purifier chamber. 5. Installing a system that fits your needs. Our Promate wool mounting kit will enable you to install your purifier in the correct position. SureFlow flow control valves are optional accessories that restrict the flow of your water to the rated flow of the water purifier, offering peace of mind to ensure that the right amount of water is treated. How do I prevent future failed water tests? To help prevent future failed water tests, decommission old wells properly, have a well water specialist inspection, repair issues as soon as possible, rule out any physical issues near or with your well, and install an Atlantic Ultraviolet UV water purification system. If you're looking to learn more about failed water tests and UV, call our UV application specialists at 631-273-0500 or send an email to sales at atlanticuv.com.